Hello, this is Vasvi from At Home Tuition. So, in this video, let us learn few problems based on the basic proportionality theorem. The first problem here says, in the figure 1 and 2, DE is parallel to BC. And they ask you to find EC. In 1, we need to find, in the first question, you have to find EC. And in the second one, we need to find the AD, right? Okay, so we know as per the basic proportionality theorem, we know that the sides are proportional. So in the first problem, given DE is parallel to the side BC, right? So we know AD over DB should be proportional to AE over EC, right? So now let us write the values which we know here. So this implies AD is 1.5 okay, centimeters over DB is 3, right? Equals AE is 1 over EC. EC we don't know so I just write it as EC. Got it? I can solve this by flipping the, the equation, okay? I just flip. Let me take this as 1. So flip the equation 1. You get EC equals 3 over 1.5, right? So that is equal to 2 centimeters. Is that fine? So you got your E as 2 centimeters. Now let's move on to the second question. Here too, the same. The first two statements you can repeat here. Okay. So you know that AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. And I would give the reason because by BPT, okay? And you know that DE is parallel to BC. So the sides are proportional. That is the BPT theorem. Now you can give the values. So in this picture they say AD is not known. So just keep it as AD. The value you don't know, you, kept, you can keep it as it is. And DB is given as 7.2, right? 7.2 equals, that side it is AE, AE is 1.8, 1.8 over 5.4, okay? So this implies your AD is equal to, multiply throughout by 7.2, so you get AD equals 1.8 over 5.4 times 7.2 okay so this is going to be 0 0.3 over this is 0 0.9 right it both went 0 0.2 no 3 yeah, I just divided both by 6 and now I, we, can, we can just cancel this and you get 1 over 3 and now the 3 goes here 2.4. So you get your AD that implies AD equals 2.4. What unit have they given? Yeah, centimeters. So here too it is centimeters. Did you get that? Just use the BPT theorem and BPT theorem and see what is not given. You can fill in by solving for that value. Now in the second question, they have given you DE is parallel to AC. So it is shown here. Here this DE is parallel to AC and also DF is parallel to AE, right? Okay. And you need to prove BF 
over Fe is equal to Be over Ec. Okay, for this to solve, what I do is, I just take the first information given here. They say DE is parallel to AC, right? So let me take that triangle first. So I take in triangle ABC, okay? Given that DE is parallel to AC, so that implies AC, right? So that implies, as per the BPT theorem, it is BD over DA is equal to BE over EC, okay? Okay, I just leave it as it is. Okay, I just make it equation 1. Now let us move on to the second information given here. So that says DF is parallel to AE, right? So this DF is parallel to AE. So I am going to take this triangle, okay, this time. Now in triangle, the smaller one, ABE, this time it is ABE, not C. DF is parallel to AE. So that implies BD over DA is equal to BF over FE. So we got this as second equation. So from 1 and 2, you can conclude that See, BD over DA is equal to BE over EC as well as BF over FE, right? So that means what? These two are equal. From 1 and 2, you can say BF over FE is equal to BE over EC. Got it? So this is what they've asked you to prove. Hence, it is proved you can say the reason here is by BPT okay here too the reason for pro saying that the sides are proportionate is by BPT so this is done let us move on to the third question the diagonals of a quadrilateral it is a quadrilateral given a b c d the diagonals intersect each other at a point o such that AO over BO is equal to CO over DO, okay? You need to show that the uh, given quadrilateral is a trapezium. So, you know, when they say quadrilateral, it could be anything. A square is a quadrilateral, a rectangle, a rhombus, a parallelogram or a trapezium. All these are uh, belong to quadrilateral, right? Because they have four sides. But this particular quadrilateral, since the uh, sides are in this proportion, you have to show that it is a trapezium, okay? Let us see how to do this. First, the trapezium is drawn, A, B, C, D is marked and the diagonal is drawn, A, C and B, D is drawn and they say the meeting point, they intersect at O. So, till this, uh, all information is given in the question. Now, to solve this problem, I just make a construction here, okay? I just join this EO such that OE is parallel to AB, okay? The side AB. This is the construction. Now, let me take the triangle in triangle ADB, okay? I am taking the triangle ADB. Since the lines OE and AB are parallel, I can say... AE over ED is equal to BO over OD, right? So this is, this I take as equation 1 and the reason here is by BPT, basic proportionality theorem, okay? But in the question, if you just look at it, it is given, this is OD, sorry, I just made a mistake here, OD. Okay, but given that AO over BO is equal to CO over DO. Okay, let me just uh, put this in another form. So that implies I just take the 
BO this side okay so that would be AO over and I just shift this to this side so it is AO over CO is equal to BO over OD right so this I take it as equation 2 now this implies AE over ED is equal to AO over OC right from 1 and 2 you can conclude that just look the equation 1 and 2 BO over OD is equal to AE over ED and BO over OD is equal to AO over OC so I can say these two are equal that is what I have given here okay from 1 and 2 I can say that AE over ED is equal to AO over OC okay now if this is proportionate then we can say that EO is parallel to DC right so here I am using the converse of BPT that is if the sides are proportionate then the lines are parallel the third lines are parallel right now first first itself they have given you that AB is parallel to EO and now you have got that EO is parallel to DC right okay so this implies that your AB is parallel to DC right so if two opposite sides of the quadrilateral are parallel so if you have got that this is parallel these two sides are parallel so that means quadrilateral A B C D is a trapezium so we have proved what has been asked okay when any two sides of a quadrilateral are parallel and you have the other two side not parallel then it is a trapezium so you have proved this so in this video I hope you would have understood how the BPT theorem is used to prove or solve some problems right see you in the next video till then bye